Yeah, I figure I'll give this QE thing another try um, with a visual this time to kind of explain where the mystic is off <laughs> and uh, try to explain why where his explanation doesn't say anything. So anyway, what we have here are banks A, B, C. We have their reserve accounts A, B, C. Now understand whatever money they have in these reserve accounts traditionally originally got there because the Fed required the banks to take essentially whatever security they had, vault cash, and place it in the Fed, okay? So the, the Fed kept it as a reserve. So the extra cash the banks had as security against their own liabilities, effectively they were told, keep it with the Fed, it's good for you, good for us. Okay, we can make sure you're solvent, and at the same time, you don't have to worry about securing a lot of cash in your vault because they'll be in our vault. Um, that kind of thing. Um, the funny thing is, I think the Fed actually does charge banks a uh, storage fee, which is kind of, you know, rude. Anyway, um, so this little block here, the O, is the owner, and this here is the football, the security or the treasury. So this is the thing on the stock market, the thing, the 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 thing that this the Fed is going to want to try to buy. Okay, and so now we're going to try to explain how this reserve account, this is all the Fed has, is this reserve account, how this gets that. That's what's going on here. So this is all the Fed is. Okay, so the so let's just understand the Fed is just this reserve account, and all the cash in it. It only, it only functions, cash has to go in, <laughs> I can't spell cash, uh, uh, there, okay, cash has to go in, and cash can go out, okay, to the banks, but that's it, it's a cash um, device, okay, so you can think of it as a cash machine or something, it doesn't matter what goes on inside of here, cash has to fill it up, and cash empties it, Okay, it empties with cash, but what happens in here is only between A, B, and C. Like A could have 90, B could have 10, and C could have 5. Doesn't or in the next day B has 5 and C has 120. It doesn't, but all the total has to remain the same. Um, so let's just start with a <coughs> a zero total just to make this less complicated. Or, you know, or, or any total, just say 100 or something. And they all have, well, let's make it 90, and then they all have 30 or something. Um, and now let's figure out how we go and we get this thing. <laughs> okay, so let's put a price tag. Let's just say it's, it costs 1 trillion. Let's just say that's what it costs, 1 trillion. And that's what we want to buy. And so how do we do it from here? And the Fed's, and, and I mean, the mystic says, well, the Fed just and makes digits. Just make something, and tells this guy to buy it. Well, I, I can't make any sense out of that, so yeah, I'm not going to use that argument because it doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to suggest happens is first, the the <clears throat> let's just say that the broker makes the deal. So the broker, let's call this A bank, this is going to be the broker we're choosing for this transaction. It could be B or C, but let's just say A is going to do the transaction. So what we can do is say to A, hey, make some digits. So let's just say A is going to be this pink color. All right, so it says make some of your bank digits and buy that football. Okay, so now it gives its pink digits to this owner of the security. Okay, so the owner now has the A trillion. So we'll just put a circle and it's pink. Because it's the, it's a trillion of the A money, it has their label on it. Okay, so that's what this guy owner has, and now the football goes to A. And now, why would A give us the football? Right, we want the football. So what are we going to give A to get A to give us the football? Well, we can put a trillion in its reserve account. So now it has a trillion in its reserve account. And so now A will say, okay, this is a trillion liability. I mean, this is a trillion of A's money, digits. 
and this is a trillion of A cash. So how do we make a distinction between these two things? This is reserve. Well, it's in the reserve account. So you just have to understand that a T in the reserve account is almost the opposite of a T as a, a bank digit. So obviously when it's a digit, this is a liability. And when it, well, let, let's just put a, we'll, we'll put a, a regular line through the pink. You just put the pink over the pen mark. So you understand that this is a, this is, whoa. Well, that's not good, it bleeds. All right, so this is a trillion, <laughs> yeah, it looks like an F. Well, that's just great. Anyway, you get the picture, right? Yeah, you just sort of get it. Anyway, so now A gives us the football. So we finally have, now we have the football here. Okay, and we bought it with A, we bought it with, with A digits uh, in the reserve account, essentially. Essentially, we bought it. Now, those digits are in the reserve account, trillion dollars. So A now has a trillion dollars. B still only has 90. So let me, let's put the numbers in just to make this easy. <laughs> so this is B still only has 90 and well 30, right? I said 30. And C only has 30 still. And A has a trillion 30. Because we just put a trillion in there to make up to get it to buy the security. Now, the 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 key to this thing, like in physics, is like this is antimatter and matter. These two things have to bang into each other. This cash has to bang into this liability for them to go away. <laughs> yeah, that's the only way they can go away. So somehow, the, the key is this liability, right? So now let's say this liability, this guy, the rich guy, who got the t trillion, let's say he bought something through a transaction through a bank, just like we just did, and so he deposits it in bank C. So now bank C has the trillion. Okay, so it now has the trillion. Um, and it gave, it now has a liability loose. Okay, called, uh, you know, we use another color. So uh, we use the blue. And so it basically gave, it now has the liability of a trillion in blue. So now the owner guy now has a blue trillion, and the C guy has a pink trillion. You could say something like that. <clears throat> um, yeah, but this won't matter because the real key is is who owns the trillion. Okay, so now Bank C has the trillion. All right, and we have the football, and Bank A has a trillion in its reserve account. So every day. The, this stuff all comes into the Federal Reserve. Every day the, the books get balanced. Okay, so now let's look at the balance sheet for the day for these banks, right? Bank A lost a trillion dollars. Okay, so it's get let loose a trillion in liabilities. All right, and, um, but it got a trillion in, in um, reserve digits. Bank C has the trillion. So let's let's just follow this through. So here's here's Bank C and Bank A. And now we're going to figure out that Bank C has the Bank A trillion. So it can make a claim to Bank A. Okay, so it's going to say to Bank A, I want you to give me something for this trillion. And the give me something is going to be your reserve digits. That's basically what's going to take place here. Okay, so... The, the trillion here that, that Bank C has, it's going to say to Bank A, give me something. And the only thing you can give it is these reserve digits. So what's going to happen is, is yeah, the, there's going to be a transaction where the reserve amount is now going to go to Bank C. And now this gets killed. There's no longer, okay, a liability. Liability's been killed. Um, and now there's just a trillion dollars in Bank C's reserve account in its column. Okay, so we just moved it from A to C. We didn't dispense it yet or anything, but technically Bank C is owed a trillion dollars. So we haven't really resolved this because there's still liabilities loose. I mean, there's still this trillion dollars in cash that's going to get loose into the economy and we can't let that we're trying to get rid of this liability so how do we get rid of the liability how do we
the, if we give it to Bank B, then it just ends up in a different column. The only way you can get out of the Federal Reserve is it has to go out as a cash payment to one of the banks. One of the banks takes actual cash. So, I don't have a green, <laughs> you know, but, <clears throat> so I, I just, I'm just saying that this is the problem, is that the resolving the the bank's daily exchanges gets you changes in who owns reserves. It doesn't get you changes in the amount of the reserves held in the reserve accounts. It just changes who gets them. That's why, so essentially what I'm saying here is that it's credit. Okay, digits are credit. And the credit gets resolved to cash. That's what checks are. Checks are like a claim on cash. And this is the cashing process. What the Federal Reserve basically does is turn all the digits of the day into real dollars. It basically says you're down a trillion, you're up a trillion, whatever the thing is, you have to give this guy a trillion. He has your pink digits, you have to give him cash for those digits. That's essentially what's being said. When this guy owns the pink, he's, the C bank is saying, you owe me a trillion dollars in cash. That's effectively what's being said, and the cash is being, is, is basically held as digits in this account. This is a cash account that holds digits, but I mean it represents cash. So understand that <clears throat> this is how the money supply, the actual cash money in the economy has always been controlled by the Fed is through the flow of cash through these reserve accounts. And there's only 1.2 trillion of cash in circulation and there's currently 4 trillion <laughs> okay, promises to cash in these reserve accounts and can you can you can see the problem there if these reserve accounts are cashed out by banks if bank C says give me the cash okay he cashes out that's the wrong color for cashing out but we'll have to deal with it okay if he says I want cash then when this is when, when you, the reserve digit is converted it's converted into cash and now C will have one trillion cash so you see the problem here is that essentially we just made a tra cash transfer. The Fed basically just, did, when it made this T, this original T, it just basically made a trillion dollars worth of cash. And Bank A just basically sent, although it was in the form of a check, it's all cash in the end. It's all going to get resolved to cash and it basically just printed the cash. So if this Bank C ever withdraws the reserve money, it's being withdrawn as cash and it makes what the Federal Reserve did, Federal Reserve did here, printing cash. Is it's going to now the the total in circulation is going to be 2.2 trillion. And if if they withdrew this four trillion dollars, then you're going to have 5.2 trillion dollars in circulation. And that's the fact of it. So that's why the money isn't being withdrawn is because the banks well know they're not allowed to take this money. The only way to resolve the money problem is for us to sell the football. The, f the only way the Fed can kill this liability, this T, it has to sell to this one of these rich people and get one of these blue bits of money or some other color money, and then it can kill the T. But what it really wants is this pink one, so it has to be the right bank it gets it from. But you know, Nick is assuming that the the balance sheet here is affected by this who owes who what thing and it's not the only thing that's changed is who owes who but the total in the reserve account does not change until cash comes out cash has to change it or the fed gets actual cash and puts it in to to eliminate one it has to the only way you can reduce the stuff in here is you have to replace it with actual cash you have to purchase it out with cash so you'd have to give the bank the cash so in the end that's what would be effectively done is a used its digits to buy the security and we basically are just giving it the cash for that purchase that's in the end what's going to happen if the money is withdrawn and we keep the football we can't let the money out and keep the football. Okay, you just can't do both. You either have to get rid of the football 
to re erase the digits or um, that's it. Yeah, or you're letting cash loose into the economy and it's going to destroy, it's going to create hyperinflation. So they can't, look, I'm just saying, the money is never coming out of those reserve accounts until these footballs are sold. That's just the truth. Because as soon as people see the money supply increasing in terms of the cash money supply increasing, everybody's going to get panicked as hell. Because this has been traditionally held, been carefully controlled. The Fed has been scared to death to print money. And, you know, but these people, you know, I'm just so irritated by these people. They're just such assholes in the comments. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, but you people are fucking assholes. I'm just so sick of your bullshit. I mean, some asshole saying, it's only 3.2, blah, 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 you got the chart wrong. Now, look, okay, the chart was a piece of shit. I was just using it as an example so you could see the squiggly lines going up and the other squiggly line going up, just so you'd get the idea that, all oh, this only happened since 2000, okay? Since 2000, I mean, I guess the Japanese did it first in, like, 2001. This isn't some old, traditional way of doing banking. This is a new, insane way of doing banking. So here it is, right on the Fed website, um, uh, gold certificate account, 11, 11 uh, billion, uh, special drawing right certificate account, 1.8 billion, uh, well, anyway, um, securities, unemorized um, premiums and discounts, purchased agreements and loans. Here we go, $4.2 trillion, it's right there, U.S. Treasuries, $2.3 trillion. Uh, Mortgage-backed securities, 1.68 billion. So right there, you got the four trillion. So don't be telling me it ain't four trillion dollars. It's four fucking trillion dollars. So right there, four trillion, four trillion, more four trillion. So fuck you, cunt. Um, what's the other one? Yeah, well, Mariana posted a link to a stupid video, and then some other asshole posted another freaking goddamn... I mean, they're all just idiotic. I mean, I'm sorry. People are idiots. You're obnoxious. You really piss me off. I mean, so here. Uh, linky on how QE works in regards to creating money. There are others, but this one is short and sweet. Key sentence. The Fed's unique ability to create money... I mean, this is just stupid. It can't create money without consequence means there's virtually no limit to how much the Fed can expand the balance sheet. Well, there is a limit, as I'm pointing out, okay? It comes back to haunt you. The only way to get the money out of these accounts is to sell this shit, okay? And they have to sell this shit and in a market that's going to allow them to sell the shit. And if they sell the shit, they're going to drive the market down. The British estimate that QE increased the British stock market 28%. That's all this is for. This is just to bubble the sp stock market, goddammit. <laughs> I mean, shit. People are just so stupid. But there's no... If the, if the Fed could fucking make money, why would they issue bonds, retard? Why would we pay interest still on World War II tanks if the Fed could just print money and pay off the loans? You jackass. I mean, you, you, it's just a, such a stupid, idiotic notion. But yes, it will be printed money if this reserve money is allowed out. So Nick's guy who says, well, they could withdraw the money and buy equities. Yeah, that's a pile of crap. The only equities they can buy is this football. Okay, the one the Fed owns. If they buy the equities the Fed owns, then the math will work. But if they buy anything on the stock, if they buy Google stock with the money, then it's released into the economy. You've fucking diluted the money. You've diluted cash. And by diluting cash's value, you'll create hyperinflation. So I'm guaranteeing you the, the reserve money will never leave the reserve accounts um, until the securities are sold. Because again, everybody's going to notice when this money, when this number starts increasing, the cash in circulation numbers start increasing, people are going to see that. And they're going to say, how did that happen? And they're going to say, oh yeah, it's that QE crap. We sure as hell had that wrong, didn't we? They didn't just make digits. You know, they didn't just make them out of thin air. No, they gave them cash money. A cash liability. Fuck.
Okay. It, this it really is. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm. It's irritating because it's. It's not terribly complex. What's going on? I mean, it's not that many moving parts. I mean, obviously, each one of these things has moving parts. I mean, dealers are different than banks. Brokers are different than dealers. Blah 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 blah. There's all kinds of different little conniving ways that this this turns blue and then turns green, then turns blue, pink, green, boom. I mean, it switches between banks. But I mean, the basic dynamic, if you just understand what these things are, when a bank makes digits, it's like a check, you know? It's that, you know, if we could just, these are just key points, okay? These are bullet points. Digits are checks. Think of them that way. If we can agree that a bank digit is a check, it has a bank's name on it, it is not a cash digit, it's a bank digit, meaning it comes back to the bank who issued it. The bank who issued it will, when the Fed resolves it, be responsible to produce cash for the digits. The digits right here, when the Fed does the daily balance, this is when the digits are converted into cash. All the checks, all the digits of the day, all the checks issued of the day will be resolved to cash money and it's done right there in the reserve account. And the other thing to understand is, again, this hierarchy thing. Stuff is the only thing of real value. Deeds, the pieces of paper saying you own the stuff, is just as good as the stuff. Cat, you know, I mean, having the thing in my house or having the deed to it is the same thing, right? Living in my, my house, I have this house, let's say, and say I had a summer home. Well, I'd have the deed to the summer home, so even though I don't have possession of it in my pocket... It's mine because I have the deeds. So deeds are stuff. And then cash is like another great deed. Cash is like a universal deed certificate. And it just, yeah, it's as good as anything. It's as good as stuff in a transaction. So then you have Federal Reserve notes. You know, these account, these digits are rock solid. And then you have U.S. bonds. But question mark, will we default in the end? They've always been good as gold, but... Maybe they're not going to be in five years. And then you got bonds from issued by corporations, and then you got stock. And this is the hierarchy. And all the, 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 the crap that's out there, all these digits that are out there, are all claims on stuff. Stuff is the stuff of value, and what it basically has been done is mortgaged. So stuff is mortgaged. Looks like a house is mortgaged. The stuff that exists in the world, like the businesses, when they're in the when they go public, that just means they're mortgaging the company. It just means they're going to basically, um, you know, um, um, what's the right way to say it? Create IOUs to the business. And the funny thing is, though, is they create these preposterous, you know, you know, the the, the pie is this big, and they make so many slices that no one's going to get a piece in the end because they've sliced it up so thin. Um, you know, pennies on a dollar. Penny on a dollar. That is the real value of the stock. So that one's where all the... that Those are just silly digits. Um, gee, it's getting hot in here. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sweating in a video. It's not very cool. Anyway... Um, so anyway, the producing bank must, see that I put in it like capital letters, the producing bank must produce end value of cash in capital letters. That's what this is about. It's the end value is in cash and it happens at the Fed. Everything's, all the digits are converted into their cash equivalents and then the who owns what thing is decided and it's transferred between these accounts. But the total in the accounts can't change unless you put cash in. Cash has to go in, not digits. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's probably enough. I mean, you've probably heard enough of this. I'm sorry um, to the people who don't find this interesting. Um, but you probably didn't listen anyway, so that's okay. I mean, you really should. I, you should be adult enough to figure out which videos to watch and not which ones not to watch, based on your interest level. <clears throat> but this is like so fundamentally. This is another one of these subjects. It's just if people can't, if people aren't going to take this seriously and get it right. Then you know what hope is there 
for any, you know, these people who keep defending the human race. I mean, this is the failure of the human race. If they can't even balance their checkbook correctly, if they think there's fairies that make money, and, uh, you know, magic digits. I mean, this is pathetic. But, uh, yeah, the whole human race is pathetic. It believes in magic gods. Magic digits, magic money, magic stuff, magic everything, magic everywhere. Oh, how did I get stuck on this stupid planet of assholes and parasites? Oh, shit. Idiots. Fucking idiots. This is the way it is. And you're obnoxious, arrogant idiots. Because you're fucking wrong. Wrong. You are wrong.